um, I we're getting a few, a few new friends adding us each week, adding um, joining us each week, and so I'm not sure who's all going to be here this week. But this is a Halloween week, but we're going to talk about um, something different today because it's going to be the beginning of a little project that we're going to be working on, and that is about listening. And um, everybody hears music wherever they go, all day long, all kinds of different situations. Um, for one thing, um, I'm not going to be giving you an assignment this today because you're going to be getting an assignment um, I gave it to you last week, and that's due November 2nd. And so there's no work to do along with this. You just have to listen to me for a couple of minutes so we can talk about um, two different types of listening. There are different um, two different words that are going to be important to hear, think about today because you're going to need to know these for a project coming up. And the first word is passive. And um, if we were in class, I would be asking different people to give us um, an, a definition of what the word passive means. Um, Grayson, you may have already been, if you were here last week, you may have heard this, this discussion already. And so if that's the case, then you can probably um, stop watching. But, um, but for Chase, um, this is talking about something we haven't talked about before. And the word passive, if I asked you what that meant, or if you looked it up in the dictionary, um, it would be something that would mean like um, not active or um, something kind of inactive or um, non-aggressive. It's kind of the opposite of of active. Or it's kind of the opposite of aggressive. If you're a passive person, you might not you like you like to avoid conflict. You don't want to um, stir up trouble. You're passive. You don't want to fight. You don't want to. You do, you'd rather walk away from a situation than get in the middle of, of messing something up with somebody else. And um, that's what the word passive means. It's kind of inactive, non-aggressive. We talked about. Um, we talked in class about um, pacifists, pacifists, which were people like during the World War, um, during the Vietnam War, um, people who didn't want to fight in the war, and they would call themselves a pacifist. They didn't, they didn't believe in fighting, and they didn't believe in war. Sometimes it was a religion. I think there were Quakers who actually, um, back during the Vietnam War, were ex excused from going to war because their their religion didn't believe in fighting and didn't believe in being in wars. And so th those are people who could say, I am a Quaker, that's my religion, and I don't need, um, I don't believe in fighting. And I'm a pacifist, I don't believe in being aggressive, and so um, I will not be going to war. And those people got excused. They did have to go fight in a war if they didn't want to, if they didn't choose to sign up for the military because of their religion. Passive, non-aggressive, um, more calm, inactive, uh, you're not in the middle of things, okay, versus kind of the opposite of this is the word active. And that's kind of the opposite of passive in that if you were active, you were paying attention to something, you were in the middle of something, you're doing it yourself, you're not just standing on the sidelines and watching. And um, this really does have to do with music. These are probably, you could you use these uh, these two terms other times in life, but it does have to do with music, and it talks to, it talks about listening, and th there are two different types of listening. And there are, there's one type called passive listening, and there's another type of listening called active listening. And it, it doesn't always have to do with music. It might be, um, it could just be listening to something that's going on in the room. But in our case, we're talking about music. And there, uh, there is music so many, in so many different places around us. A lot of times we might not even be aware of it. If you go to a big, if you go to a movie in a movie theater, which we don't do that these days right now, but um, if you go to a movie or if you're watching a movie on Netflix or on the Disney Channel, you um, might not even be aware that there's music in the background or a certain commercials. There are, um, if, if it was a dark and stormy night, if it's a creepy movie and it's talking about somebody walking down um, a 
a dark street and then they have to go to the parking lot and they have to walk through an alley to get to their car and then a parking lot. You don't, you might not even notice it in the movie, but the mu the music in the background, there might not be any other noise. There's no talking, but there's music in the background and it might be in a minor key, which sounds kind of spooky and eerie and kind of creepy. And it's trying to get you in the mood. Um, um, and sometimes you don't even realize it's there. There are other times if it's a Disney movie and there's a princess and there's a a prince and a princess and they're walking through the woods and the birds are chirping and it's, there might be music in the background of that movie that you're not even paying attention to either. You're not really you're you're really paying attention to the movie and what's going on in the story more than the than um, the music. But there there is music in the background. People are hired to do that. That's their jobs to create a mood for different things and passive listening is a situation where where there is music um, somewhere that, that's somewhere in your, your surrounding, but you're not really paying attention to it. You might be, um, for example, you might be doing your, um, you might be working out and you might be, you might be working out in the basement and doing some exercises or, or doing a, a workout routine and you hear your mom singing in the kitchen. Okay. Um, she, you're not, you didn't choose to listen to her but you can't help it because you can hear through the walls or she's whatever music she's listening to in the kitchen while she's baking, um, whatever radio station or CD she chose to turn on or Spotify or something like that, whatever she chose to listen to, she's turned it on. You haven't, but it's in the background. You can hear it anyway, even though you're not choosing to listen to it, it's there. That is an example of passive listening. You, um, you can't help but hear it because it's there. Somebody else is in doing it or somebody else turned it on for you, but it's not, um, you're not sitting there paying close attention to it. Okay. That's an example of passive listening for music. Okay. An example of active listening would be maybe you, um, you like to just, you just want to sit down you just want to chill and you just need some space. So you go to your bedroom and you turn on your favorite, um, your favorite, Tunes uh, playlist, okay? You turn on your favorite playlist of stuff that you like to listen to. Maybe you need to just calm down because you're angry or something. Or And so you turn it on, you put some buds, earbuds in your ears, you put your headphones on, and you're listening, and that's all you're doing. You're really, really paying attention to what um, the music is. That is called active listening. Or maybe you're in band, and you're playing. Maybe you take piano lessons, and you're practicing your piano lesson, or you're practicing your band lesson. That would be active listening because you are the one that's making the music. You are the one that is, uh, you have to pay attention if you're practicing for a, ba a lesson or a band lesson. If you're in band, you're sitting in the band room and um, you have to be part of it and, and you're a trombone player and it's time to play the trombone part. That's active listening or you're listening to the rest of the band because you have to come in in 10 measures. You have to count, you have to pay attention to where they are because you're, it's going to be your turn to play in a couple of minutes. And so that is called active listening. So today just it's, Quick little lesson. The first thing you need to we're, we're talking about is two types of listening. And when it comes to music, there's passive listening, where maybe it's in the background. You didn't you didn't choose that particular music, but it's there. You can't help it. You're in the grocery store or you're shopping at Target and there's music in the background. Maybe you're walking up an elevator, um, going up to, into a building with some different floors in a, in a public place. And there might be music in the elevator. Might not be the type of music you choose to listen to. You have to take the elevator. Somebody else turned it on. You can't turn it off. It's there, but you're not really paying attention to it. That's passive listening, okay? Active listening means that you either the, were the person to sit, to purposely turn on turn on your playlist, turn on the computer, turn on, um, turn on a CD player or something. You're the one that wants to hear it. You made the choices. You're doing, you're, you're the one who's paying attention to it, and um, or or you're the one who's performing it. So there's two different types of listening for music. We're going to have a Zoom call later this week, and I'm going to check with you to see if um, I'm going to give you some examples, and I want you to be able to tell me if in your situation, if a, situ uh, a circumstance that I give you, if that's passive listening for you or if it's active listening for you. And um, Grayson, you may still be with us. You may not. Chase, you will You will be with us. So at the very least, Chase and I will have a Zoom call, and I'm going to just have a little discussion with you talking about passive listening and active listening. And we're, you're going to hear more about this in an assignment uh, coming up next week. But there's no assignment for this week because you have that other assignment that is due on November 2nd. So next time we talk, be able to tell me what passive listening is and active listening. Have a great week.